Boom shakalaka, what will 100 link be worth in 2025? You definitely want to stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at what 100 link will be worth in 2025 at the end of this coming bull run and alt season. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, come join us on Twitter through Crypto Love. Subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel, making daily videos since 2017, back when Chainlink was 12 cents. Can you believe it? Wow. Well, in this video, we're going to get into all the numbers with significant price predictions for Chainlink to see what realistically it could be worth in 2025. But before we do that, you have to ask yourself why. Well, we just had the Bitcoin conference in Tennessee finish and you could see market sentiment changed a little bit and now we're taking a look at some charts getting some very bullish indicators on charts like this one right here golden cross for the total market cap of crypto only happened twice previously in 2016 and 2020 both times preceded a massive parabolic rally for alt season so what would be next well alt season once again it would follow we can take a look here at the Gaussian has flipped green on the two week chart. Not only that, but price has broken out for crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin and ETH and retested the top of that. That happened just before the previous bull market alt season run. And accumulation is coming to an end. It's been going on for a while. It's been bleeding. Everyone's bags have been getting smaller and smaller, but it's about time for bags to get larger. As a matter of fact, the structure is following perfectly what happened in 2016 and 2020. We're breaking out of the accumulation cup and a little downtrend resistance. That was the last bit. And you can see we're at the very end of this downtrend resistance. Once things go up, they could go up very drastically, very quickly. We have a giant multi-year cup and handle. That's a nice bullish chart for altcoins. So all those things are saying, hey, altcoins as a whole are likely going to take off sometime soon. And it's good to have your bags packed before the train leaves the station. But what about Chainlink? If we take a look here, unbelievably clean structure, you can see finding support on previous resistance and support the potential for going up to maybe the 1.618 Fib right there. As a matter of fact, right now, Chainlink's chart is echoing very similar to what Ethereum did in 2021. Take a look at this. You can see we had a peak followed by accumulation phase. The first rally after that, a little bit of a slowdown. And then look what happened to ETH after that rally and slowdown. It just took off for the moon. Could we see the same thing for Chainlink? Definitely a possibility especially when you take a look at what whales are doing right now. Chainlink whales have bought up over 10 million link in the past two weeks. This is the beginning of July, so probably over the past month, they've bought up even more, totaling $120 million. So whales are starting to accumulate Chainlink. Do they know something that we don't know? Well, maybe. I mean, there's a push for all these real-world assets, tokenization of everything. Somebody needs to step in and be the oracle to tell us you know, what's worth what potentially that could be Chainlink. So for those of you who don't know about Chainlink, you can just go to chain.link, link the world, the universal platform for pioneering the future of global markets on chain, the decentralized computing platform powering the verifiable web with data, compute, cross chain, all this fun stuff. And you can find out all you want to about Chainlink there. But this is pretty interesting. Total transaction value enabled thanks to Chainlink. I don't even know what that is. This is a million, billion, trillion, 12, tri 12 and a half trillion dollars. Holy cow. Well, that's why Chainlink is the global standard. It's been around for a long time. It's trusted and people know about it. So if we take a look at Chainlink right now, price today, $13.21. Sense. As a matter of fact, the first video we made about Chainlink was way back here. I think it was in October of 2017, back when it was maybe like 20 to 40 cents or something in that area. You can just go look it up, Crypto Love Chainlink, and find that old, old video that we did. But right now, market cap, $8 billion. And you can see it is down a bit from previous all-time highs. As a matter of fact, you can kind of draw a line. Should we break this trend line resistance? Things could go pretty dramatically in one direction or another. Now, Let's take a look at a couple of price predictions for where Chainlink could go by 2025 because, hey, that's when I think the bull run will likely be over and I think there's a general market consensus. It'll happen sometime around then and things will probably get pretty wacky and frothy beforehand and a lot of things will pump. So 
let's take a look. You know, back when I first made a video about Chainlink in 2017, had you bought it at 12 cents and then sold it at the top in March of 2021 at $52, what a 44 441 x your investment. Holy cow, you could have been a millionaire with $2,267 had you have bought back then. I wish I would have bought $2,267 of it back then, but I didn't, and I'm guessing you didn't either, and that's why you're still watching this video. So if we take a look today, let's say you watch this video. You're like, that Randall guy, he makes sense. I like him. For whatever reason, he made a video about 100 link, and I'm just going to buy 100 link. Now, at today's prices, $13.19, 100 link would just cost you a little bit over $1,000, $1,319. Now, let's just say that Chainlink goes back to its previous all-time high market cap. Not the all-time high price, but the all-time high market cap. Well, if that were to happen, guess what? You would 2.5x your investment. If it just goes back, I mean, that would be a pretty terrible alt season if it just went back to the previous all-time high. And you have to take a look, okay? Chainlink was here for a uh, one bull run here in 2017, and then two bull runs here. And the one in 2017, look at this, the one in 2020 and 2021 dwarfed the one in 2017, 2018. So potentially the next one, I mean, this right here could be the same as this teeny little thing right here, or it could also be a top. I mean, that's the difficult thing with cryptocurrency. You never know until afterwards. But that's pretty easy, 2.5x, with the price of Chainlink, $32.89, making you $3,289 off of just over a $1,000 investment. That's pretty cool. But that's kind of like expected. That's a given. I would bet on that every day and twice on Sunday. Now, let's take a look at some other scenarios. See, I believe in something called uh, expanding cycles theory, where basically... What previous altcoins have done last cycle, we'll see a lot of altcoins do this cycle. Like Ethereum, the number one altcoin, because Bitcoin is the number one cryptocurrency, but Ethereum is the number one altcoin. Well, last cycle, Ethereum had a market cap of $559 billion. While that's enormous, I do think with the influx of money that we will see a lot more altcoins with market caps in that territory. Could Chainlink be one of them? Real world assets, tokenization of everything, Chainlink being the go-to de facto standard for that, certainly in the realm of possibility. Now, if Chainlink did that, guess what? You would 69x your investment. I mean, if that's not lucky, I don't know what is. Making with a $919 link, making you $91,935 off of a little over a thousand dollar investment. That's pretty crazy but not outside the realm of possibility. It should be noted. This one is not an outside the realm of possibility. I saved the outside the realm of possibility, you know, touching, bordering on maybe a little bit out there for the last scenario. See, people think Bitcoin this cycle is going to reach into the hundreds of thousands of dollars per Bitcoin. And I certainly hope so. I hope it even goes to a million dollars or some people are saying a billion dollars in a couple cycles from now. Heck, I hope so. And if Bitcoin does that, altcoins would do the same. Now, in the case that Bitcoin did that hundreds of thousands of dollars this cycle well the number one altcoin which historically has been ethereum would have roughly a 3.6 trillion dollar market cap if bitcoin went to that level but let's say that that number one altcoin would be chainlink well in that case 3.6 trillion dollar market cap in chainlink well guess what you would 448x your investment even better then had you have bought back when I made that video in September of 2017 at 12 cents with a $5,920 link, making you $592,000 and $69 off of just over a $1,000 investment. That's pretty insane. If that happens, you would love me forever and you're welcome. But if it doesn't happen, you know, totally understandable because I said it's quite a long shot. Now, if that scenario happened, guess what? A mere $2,232 of Chainlink today would make you a millionaire, realistically, which is pretty darn cool when you consider the scope of things out there. But definitely worth checking out, especially with some of the charts we were taking a look at for Chainlink, especially this ETH fractal. Pretty darn cool. I mean, it looks very similar to me, but hey, charts can lie and sometimes things don't happen. But when they do, goodness, you wish you're on a board. So that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, like the video, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel, making videos about Chainlink since 2017. 
And YouTube believes you'll enjoy that video right there. So check it out. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.